Welcome back to the Junk Man's Adventures, and I'm going to do a little gorilla style how to video here just with my holding my camera and uh, very little editing because this is a common problem I know people have with a broad range of GM cars. This happens to be in a 2001 Chevy Impala, but that applies to the Monte Carlo, Grand Am, Old Zolero. Uh, probably the Pro uh, Pontiac uh, Transport and other GM vehicles probably made from like 99 to probably the late 2000s and maybe even farther. But anyway, a uh, common problem here is uh, had a problem with the car not starting and and then some electric, the electrics were going a little wonky and it tripped the pass lock system which means the computer thinks that somebody's trying to steal the vehicle because the contacts in here are just worn out from just normal use. I mean, that happens. And uh, anyway, there's a communication issue between the BCM and the PCM. You can read all about it online. And anyway, it trips the pass lock, makes it so the fuel pump don't run, and so the starter won't start, or it may sit there and just click, 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 and, and things are going funky. Anyway... One of the fixes is to replace the ignition switch, and then it, you have to relearn that pass lock, which I'll link to a post or a, a blog in the description of this video, and you can read how to do that. It'll explain it much better than me. But anyway, I'm halfway through the teardown here, and I've taken the 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 dash apart or uh, you know the fascia off, and um, here's obviously the covers and then the main thing that's kind of a well it's not really a pain but wouldn't be apparent is this metal part right here there's a couple of bolts right here that mount up under here and maybe I'll interject some pictures right now if not they're up in there and uh, and then you can just uh, take two bolts out of here out and around the corner here and uh, and I've also taken out the uh, the lock cylinder which is is Pretty simple. I'll show you putting it back in how that's done. Um, and then I need to just undo these connectors and this cable, which goes to the uh, shifter here. So it's in park. You know, you can't pull it out of gear. That's the safety and whatnot. So anyway, let me get this pulled apart and I'll show you the rest of it. All right, I want to show you how to get the lock cylinder out of, out of the ignition switch body here. What you have to do is put the key in and turn it to the on position. And that'll allow you to push this little uh, this little button or tab in. Push it in. You'll have to hold it and pull the lock cylinder out, which I can only I can't do this one-handed. So that's how you do it. Okay, I unhook the connectors from the old switch, and I got the new one here. And obviously, you can see the way the pins are. They can only go in one slot. How you do that to get those out of there is uh, you'll take a try to take a screwdriver. And you have to push this down and you can push it through. Find an appropriate bladed screwdriver to push this little tab on, but to press them back in there you just slap, snap them in and they key into those little slots there and that's what holds them in. You also have the, your, your park safety cable, little little tab right there that you just push down pull out, and then there's this little uh, one here that uh, goes into the that little slot there, and then you just put it back in, put the two bolts in, and you're good to go. One word of note when putting this little uh, park cable safety in, leave the key in the on position because there's a cam in here that uh, moves and uh, if you have it in off, uh, this park cable can't push into the slot because obviously it's trying to keep the key from turning. So you leave it in the on position or keep the lock cylinder out until you're um, ready to put this in. Either way, but that's a little tip that... Uh, might not be apparent for most people. Okay, now that we put the connectors all back in and that uh, cable for the uh, park lock back in, all it is is uh, shove the wires back in. It's pretty easy. There's enough room back there. And put your two bolts in right here. And uh, it, you can put the lock cylinder in at this point in time too. Just shove it in there. But these two bolts go in here. Uh, it'll just line them up. You'll have to kind of hold it into place. And um, that's about it. And then you just have to put your dash all back together, just in the reverse of the way it came out. So anyway, there will be a link to uh, a blog post I made that will have the reset of the pass lock procedure in there. 
as well as some detailed pictures of where all your fasteners and all these little holes for the clips and everything so you can look at uh, before you take it out so you know you're not pulling on something to uh, break something. Um, and anyway, uh, like my Facebook page, check out my Twitter, obviously go to the website, and um, if you need a repair manual or anything for your car, uh, one of my sponsors is Haynes Man Manuals, and I'll leave a link down and below, and if you buy a manual through that link in the description, uh, I get a little something uh, for making these videos, and and you're, you're helping me out make more content, hopefully better than this. But like I said, this was an impromptu video. But you never have to do that. You can just follow this video to do this fix. And um, thanks for watching.